Howdy guys, Courtney here. And I'm Carly, and today on K&K, we're going to be kind of doing a battle of the boxes slash bags, I guess you could say. Yep. So we have, we both have Sephora Play, we both have Ipsy, and then I just have Birchbox. And Sephora Play and Ipsy are $10 a month, and Birchbox is also $10 a month, unless you're a Birchbox beta member, which I am a Birchbox beta member, which means that my box is $15 a month. So we're just going to kind of battle all of these and tell you which ones are our favorite and which ones is the best. So now let's just hop into it. So which one do you want to start out with this? I think we should start out with Sephora Play. Normally that's always my favorite, so... Okay. Sephora Play always comes in this little black and white box when we open it up. It usually has a cute saying up here. And like, say this month it says, Love, Tips, and Tricks, and VDHackSephora.com slash play. And then, do you have a little card that comes over it? Mm, I do not. It's not it always comes with this little, like, info card, and it has a, um... Not coupon. It's like beauty, you get the beauty insider points or something like that. Yeah, if you take it to Sephora, you can get like 50 points. And then here's the, the bag. bag this month. It's so cute. It just says play, play, play. Everywhere. Every single month, I say they're stepping it up. And again, they're, I think they can start to compete with Ipsy they, on bags. I know. Their bags are getting really, really cute. This one, feel, it's like silicone, so it feel, it's, I like the feeling of it. And it just says play all over it in different fonts. It's like an envelope. Yeah. I like how you can see through it too because everything is like going to see through now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my first product and it is this. Do you know how to pronounce that? Rahua? Rahua. Um, Omega 9 hair mask and it is 100% plant derived, rainforest grown. And it is a little hair mask and you can probably get like one, two or three uses out of it. I would say two. But we both got this product. Depending on the amount of hair you have. Um, yeah, we both got this one, so I have it too. And we'll be sure to leave a link for all these subscription boxes down below if you want to go sign up for them. And then I all, I got the Tristeague um, Mini Highlight Stick. So here's what it looks like. I also got that too. It's not going to focus. Come on, camera. Wheel, it's not going to focus on it. There we go. And this is just a highlighter. So you can see it. It's pretty, pretty. I like that it's really creamy. And my next item is a bigger sample and this is Skin Laundry Gentle Foaming Face Wash. And it is a pretty decent little size of it. I think the rest of our products are different. Yeah. Oh, it has like a little squirter thing. It's like a gel. I smell it. Yeah, it doesn't really smell. It kind of smells like lemon. Okay, and then I have the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. So, this is what it looks like. See the tip of it? And uh, I was going to see if what color is it in, but there's not a color. So, I guess it's just a blur stick. My next item is this Belief, or Belief, Believe in Truth. Hungarian water essence. Um, I don't know what it is. Something, some skin hydration stuff. And the next thing I have is this Tata Harper Next Generation Beauty Resurfacing um, Mask for your face. There's that. I love the little green packaging on it. My last item, I don't know what the brand is. It just says Magnetic Matte Lip Color in Greystone. And then my last thing, um, minus the perfume sample, is the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. And that's all it says. It just says instant plumps in three to five minutes. So that's what it looks like. And then the perfume sample I got was this Toka. Toka. So they always send you five products and then you get one little um, perfume sample as like a bonus freebie. And I got the Clean Reserve perfume and I think we've gotten this perfume before. Okay, so which box is better? Mine or yours? So I looked up the retail value of this milk makeup thing and it's like a full size is like $48. So, I would say I kind of like your box better this month. 
I would. I feel like mine's more stuff I would use personally. But you yours has more unique products, I guess. You want to show all of them so we can compare? Let me get all of them. So we have the um, hair mask, the face hydration stuff, face wash, the highlighter, and then the lip thing. So I have the perfume, the Grande Lips Lip Plumper, the little mask, highlighter, hair mask, and um, blur stick. Now on to Ipsy, since we both have that one. Comes in this little pink package, if you're not familiar with Ipsy, which I'm sure you guys are. Um, it's $10 per month. And this month it came this cute little ice cream bag. That's funny that both of them are see through this month. This one has, yeah, it has this like ice cream and popsicles on it. So both of them are see through. Yeah. This bag does smell a little it funny though. It smells like plastic. Yeah, it smells like plastic. Okay, you want me to start this time? Yeah. So we both actually got a brush, but oh, I, I have that brush. I like it a lot. I got the, nope, this one's different, isn't it? This is, is the Luxie 660 foundation brush. Oh, I have the highlighter brush from them. And I, I like love the Luxie brushes. They're so soft. So what's this and then I also Cute got brush. this Royal Lang Nickel Precision Angled brush. I think that one's for bronzer. Bronzer? To contour with? No, that's not big enough for that. Yes, it is. It's to contour around your nose and all the angles. I promise that's what it's oh, for. I thought it was for like your No, I have one. Shadow. I have one in my Smashbox set. Ew. Why? Well, I would have never guessed that. Okay, and then my next thing is this Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Power you another one Powder those? Highlighter. That's funny. Yeah. Don't you ha haven't you got one of those before? I think you, you actually got it. No, you got it in something because it's still in your room. No idea what I got it in, but that is what it looks like. And then I got this Pure, or no, Pixie by Petra. I can't really read what it says. Endless Silky Eye Pen. Man, their lettering is really hard to read on here. Haha, that's funny. I got another Tristeague product. Except this one is a mini matte lip crayon in Tuscan wine. So it's like pretty dark burgundy red. red. I wish since it's summer they would have said a liner color. Because I feel like that's more of like a fall and winter color. I agree. And then I got this Odessi New York Organic Infused Nail Polish. <laughs> that's funny that's organic. What I love that they have been sending organic stuff I'm gonna guess yeah I have no idea oh it's a really pretty summer color I would actually use that color yeah it's a really pretty light blue okay and then I got this mysterious little white box I have no idea what's in it no polish has no label nothing and no you're wrong it is a pure Brazilian shine ultra light nourishing oil for your hair it's like a defrizzes your hair. And then my fourth item is, I just dropped it. Um, this little Manic Kadar bronzer and highlighter. I don't know if I would consider that light shade a highlighter, but mm, yeah, it's a little dark. Okay, and then my last thing is this Pureless CC, or BB cream, not CC. BB cream and it says tinted moist cream and it has SPF 30. It really does not want to focus with me today. You got it. There we go. Got to cover up your face. And then my last product, my Ipsy bag, I actually already opened it and used it a few days ago and I left it at my, um, back where I go to college. So it, it was like a pretty little lipstick color. I can't really think of the, it's like mop. Mellow, I think that was the brand of it. But anyway, I already used it and I liked it. So for Ipsy, I, don't know, I really like mine. Because I also, I have the Luxie brush and the Afterglow highlighter, but I really like that nail polish color. Yeah. So I would say kind of these are a draw. I think they're about equal. Yeah, I like the nail polish color and then this and then this little pixie thing. And I also like the lip gloss. The only thing that wasn't like that I probably won't use is this because I already have like a favorite. So, okay, and now on to Birchbox. I actually am the only one signed up for Birchbox, and a couple months ago, Birchbox sent me an email asking me if I wanted to be a Birchbox beta member, 
and what that means is it cost five dollars more but the products are supposed to be like more prestige and just like better overall products. products yes and like last we, month i got one extra product so uh, we unboxed it last month if you want to see that video we'll be sure to put it up there in the corner um last month it was not worth extra five dollars at least i didn't think so mm, i don't remember what last month was so okay but the box this month super cute a plus for packaging so summer fun little polka dots and then there's the bottom of it and there's the b on it so let me open oh this is cute it says low effort high impact longer warmer days are upon us which means more time to enjoy the, those fun moments we all look forward to and less cause for primping so it shows all the products on the back and this month i only got five products which is what i used to get without paying five dollars so so you still paid the extra five dollars i month? paid the extra five dollars um it's this wave wave spray we've gotten this i know I know I've gotten this in Sephora Play before, so I mean that's kind of a repeat, repeat product. But the full size of that is twenty six dollars. So I think this is really really cool. Look at this mascara; it has I, flamingos on it. I really like the packaging; it's cute. It is a flamingo mascara. And the retail for this mascara is $22, and it's by the Beauty Crop, and it says Fabulous Flocking Lashes. And then, this is a good product. We got a MAC Strobe Cream. A little sample of that. It is tiny, but it is a MAC product, so. Okay, and then the next thing, in, wait, the MAC product is $33 for full size. I do like that about Birchbox, that it gives you a little card that says what it costs full size. So and Laura Play does that too, though. Yes, okay. and this is the Vita Liberta Luxury Tan Self Tanning Gradual Lotion. Hmm. I'm excited I'm to that. try this. Um, it is $30. $30. None of these products are, like, outrageous. Size. I've seen like some things that they get like a hundred dollar products. There. I know but none of yours are. It's no, like none of 36, 33, 26, 22, 30. Okay. And then, and then the last one? item was the Kula Makeup Setting Spray. And it has organic sun care and green tea and aloe. That's an interesting little thing. Okay. So, okay, so you want to rank these from best to worst? First, but wait, do you think that Birchbox was worth it this month for the extra $5? I don't... No. Yeah, I did get the MAC product. Like, I feel I like I will use all of these products. You know what I'm I saying? I still don't think they're worth Like, the extra, Flamingo like, Mascara, this is just I feel cool. like this would... All these products beside the MAC, the MAC product, you could still get in Sephora Play for $10, so... I don't know about this. I've never seen this before, but... Yeah. I don't think it was worth it for the extra $5, honestly. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm giving it a couple more months just to see if I like it <laughs> before I decide if I want to go back to the ten dollar one. Okay, so first box, and I would rank them in this order would be my Sephora Play. Um, I would say Ipsy in the middle, and then Birchbox. See if you're gonna. You put the two ten dollar boxes over. Birchbox, I agree. I did. So it's not. No, it's not worth extra five dollars. But I'm gonna give it a couple more months. Yeah, and just because it's fun to unbox. Um. I agree. Sephora Play, Ipsy, and then Birchbox. And the reason I like Sephora Play more than Ipsy is, first of all, I used to love Ipsy's bags, but now Sephora Play is, like, stepping up their game, and their bags are becoming a lot cuter. And all the products, like, I feel like Ipsy's products are, sometimes are just so, like, not random, but just products you've never heard of. And so I like Sephora because it's Sephora's like, all most of them are prestige. Yeah, and it's all the it's like brands I'm familiar with, and I really want to try those products, but I don't want to pay the price to try them. So that's one reason I like Sephora Play more than Ipsy is I guess just because of like brand awareness. I agree. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and, and let us know down below which one was your favorite box or how you would rank these boxes. And also be sure to hit that red subscribe button and also hit the little bell so you'll be notified when we post future videos. I know and make sure you are subscribed because a lot of people have been saying and hit that bell. A lot of people have been saying that like they've been unsubscribed from us or that um, they'll hit the bell but they don't get notifications for our new video. I read so. one person where they hit the bell, but it unsubscribed them when they hit the bell. So, yeah. I, YouTube thing really weird right now. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> I 
but we'll link um or we will put links for all three of these boxes down below if you want to go sign up for yourself you definitely should especially sephora play yep it's t all of them are ten dollars sephora a month. play not very long ago had a bunch of spots open i don't know if they still do probably not but all of them are ten dollars per month so thanks for watching k and k and we'll see you next time bye, bye guys